Elliot Forrest here joining me now is Kim Cross from the NIAC Center. Uh, I've always said that the NIAC Center is uh, literally and figuratively at the heart of NIAC and uh, now more importantly than ever. Hi Kim, always good to see you. Hey Elliot, nice to see you too. Times are changing. Uh, you have known to be feeding kids uh, before and after school and helping them with their program with the quarantine. Uh, how has your programs changed? Well, um, you know, as of March 13th, we are no longer running our breakfast club or after school program or any of our on site programs. Um, and so we have moved to really just being a feeding program. Um, we are working with Nyack Public Schools and distributing breakfast and lunch every day um, to kids who are on free and reduced lunch through the school district. And so we have, you know, in the first three weeks given out something like 3,500 bag breakfasts and lunches and served about 1,500 kids. Uh, that has been with the food service program at Nye Public Schools. Um, we obviously have dialed back as far as our staff. All of our staff is not working, except for Dali Tassi and myself who are here, and Nicole Hines, our assistant director, is working remotely. So all of what we're doing each day is with uh, Dolly, myself, and volunteers. So we have been really um, so grateful and gratified with the response from the community. So we have community volunteers here throughout the morning um, as we distribute breakfast and lunch. Um, DDA Dumas pulls up in his truck every morning with 60 to 90 homemade hot brioches um, that we bag up and give to families. Then we have this whole dist grocery distribution that's been going on. So people have been donating um, and we've been partnering with Baldors, who has been, uh, we're getting our third truck from Baldors this week. They've been giving us 20% off. And teachers and the Teachers Association at Upper Nyack and the middle school and the high school um, have all contributed along with community members for these um, trucks to come and donate. So we've, been, we've given out probably 500 bags of groceries at this point. Um, everything from fresh fruit to staples, pasta, sauce, toilet paper, paper towels, cleaning supplies. Um, community members donate here two to four every Wednesday. Um, so people are signing up to purchase certain groceries. And um, then on uh, Fridays, we distribute our regular it's in the bag bags that come from people to people um, so every kid gets one of those to sort of help them through the weekend so it's like ramen noodles and you know mac and cheese individual mac and cheese some snacks things like that um, that kids can kind of do on their own to help get them through and um, we also uh, started this really awesome program with um, Kenyatta Jones Arietta. Um, so Kenyatta is a, a board member here at Nyack Center and um, she runs R2M Realty. And so she has partnered with a friend of hers and um, the two of them are doing uh, dinners for families. So basically they set up something with a local business who then makes 75 family dinners, which we have out for parents to take when they pick up their breakfast and lunch. You know, it's very moving to see the generosity of our community, um, but also too, to see the need that is so great for so many of our kids and families. Um, you know, we have families that aren't working at all, families who aren't eligible for unemployment, um, and this is really the lifeline that's going to get them through, you know, um, what I think is a really difficult time for everybody, but profoundly difficult when you're worried about how you're going to feed your kids. Um, as Arts Rock, uh, my organization, we've rented um, the NIAC Center for 10 years. And, right. uh, and I don't know what percentage uh, in general rentals are. 
uh, for you, but I know that obviously people are not renting the the, the space. Uh, how how big of a deficit is that for you? It's huge. Um, you know, we bring in you know somewhere between forty and fifty thousand dollars a year from building use, and obviously no one's been using the building since the beginning of March for those purposes. Um, and the great thing about those funds is they're unencumbered, so we can use them for anything even though we don't have the kids here and even though we don't have the staff um what we do have is an o1r bill you know uh, all of our regular utilities all of our insurance you know all of our regular bills are still happening um and you know we just don't have the same income that we would normally have well, I, I think I speak for everyone when I express my love for you and, and all that you do. We've known each other a very long time, and the NIAC Center has just grown in importance in our community, uh, in service to the community, and, and all it means, e even uh, just a, a place to gather to celebrate as well, which I know we all want to do again very soon. Absolutely. Someone was saying we should have a hugging party when this is all over, <laughs> which I think is a super idea, as long as it's appropriate. Oh, yes. <laughs> but, you know, it is it is a big team, and so much of our team is our, our volunteers. You know, we have people who are delivering food, delivering things to people who are um, on quarantine or unable because of transportation issues to get out of the house, to get over for breakfast and lunch, and so... We've got community members who are doing that, you know, and we've got our fabulous Dolly, who's here working with me every day, who is a ray of sunshine. And I'm so grateful for her every day. And uh, my board of directors and Christy Leader, who's organizing our volunteers and these deliveries from, ba from Baldors, all the donors, Kenyatta stepping forward with Louie and doing this dinner for our families. I mean, it's, it's, it's a big team of, um, really big-hearted people. Well, if anything, it proves it does take a village. Uh, Kim Cross, everyone give to the Nyack Center if you can. They're doing great work. Uh, let us know how any of us can help you. Thank you. Thank you. And go to our, if you go to our website on there, there are ways to volunteer. If you can pick up a couple extra things when you go to the grocery store, make a donation, all of it matters, all of it makes a difference, and we're really grateful that we live in a place where people care about kids and care about each other. I want that first hug, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, thanks so much, Elliot. <laughs>